Hello, hello, it's Miss Benina, and today I will be reading Genma Marino's The Crocodile Who Didn't Like Water. Be sure to check out my other video, The Dragon Who Didn't Like Fire, and see if you can figure out the connection between the two stories. Once upon a time, there was a little crocodile, and this crocodile didn't like water. He longed to play with his brothers and sisters, but they were far too busy with swim club, and this little crocodile didn't like swim club. What he really liked was climbing trees, but nobody else did. It was lonely having nobody to play with. So the little crocodile made a decision. He had saved up his money from the tooth fairy and he knew exactly what to buy with it. The next afternoon, he took his new rubber ring over to the water. Today, he would play with his brothers and sisters. But he couldn't play ball or swim under water. And although climbing the ladder was fun, he just didn't want to jump. But he didn't want to be alone. So he decided to try one last time. One, two, two and a half, Splash! Glub. Help! This little crocodile definitely hated water. It was cold, it was wet, and it was embarrassing. But then something strange happened. His nose began to tickle. And the tickle grew and grew and grew until ah This little crocodile didn't like water because he wasn't a crocodile at all. He was a dragon. And this little dragon wasn't born to swim. He was born to breathe fire. And he was born Born to fly! The end. Winnow bye!